Follow along as I show you how to create a fully business-ready website on Hostinger without making any of the beginner mistakes that would come back in the future and haunt you. For this tutorial, I'm using the cheapest plan possible and we're still gonna make our website really fast and work for us just as fine. You can get the plan yourself by visiting the link in the description and if you use the code Emmet Reviews, you also get an additional 10% discount, making it cost only $1 and 79 cents a month. Depending on the sale they have going on, you might also need to buy a domain name separately, but that's not a big deal. Once you're done with your purchase, just visit this domain section and grab one for like $9.99. Once you buy a plan, you'll have this set button next to it in your hosting your dashboard. So just click on the setup button, then choose create a new site, select WordPress, and create your login information that you'll use to control your website later down the line. For plugins and themes, you can fully skip these sections because we will make a better custom configuration later in this tutorial. Now for the domain name, if you bought it here on Hostinger, it will show up in this menu and it will work right out of the box. But if you have bought your domain name elsewhere, select the other option and I'll leave a tutorial on how to connect it to Hostinger somewhere on screen right now. The installation is now fully automated, so you don't need for me to be here. I'll just cut back to once it's finished. Okay, it seems to be done, so now let's make sure that our website is configured for the best possible performance right out of the gate. This is like setting the foundation for our website. Click on Manage Site, then Advanced and PHP Configuration. Make sure PHP 8.1 or newer, depending on when you watch this video, is selected. Also, go into the SSL tab and make sure your domain name has an activated certificate. If not, just click Setup to install one automatically provided by Hostinger. And if for some reason Hostinger didn't give you a free SSL certificate, I'll leave a tutorial on how to do this completely free on screen right now. Once that's done, let's get our business basics out of the way by setting up a professional email address. Go into your dashboard, then click on Manage next to Email and select the free version. Here's where you create an email address and the box using your website name. I'll go with hello at emitreviews.online. Remember, you can create more than one address and to access it, simply click Complete, then Webmail and Login. Now, this works like a regular email box like Gmail or Yahoo. Everything that goes into hello at emitreviews.online appears here and I can respond from this address as well. But it is a bit of a pain to use it because you need to log into Hostinger, then go into your domain names, then navigate to the email account and click this webmail button. Why don't we just make it all easy? To get started, copy this address right here, we'll need it for later, then go back into your Hostinger panel, click on Websites and choose your website. Click on Domains, then Subdomains. Type in whatever you want the login address to be here. I'll go with mail, so it's mail.emitreviews.online and click Create. Now let's go to redirects and make sure our newly created free subdomain actually redirects to the mail address we've copied before. So now when I visit mail.emitreviews.online, it actually gets me straight into my email box if I'm logged in and if I'm not logged in, I get to the login page. Very convenient and easy to remember. Okay, so we've got the essentials out of the way, like a good foundation for our site. So let's get to designing and optimizing. Go back to your dashboard and click on WordPress dashboard, then edit website. You'll get redirected to WordPress. This is where the majority of our design work is gonna take place. Make your way to the dashboard and delete any inactive plugins to improve your performance. Remember, the more stuff you have installed, the slower your website is in general. Now hover on Appearance and click Themes. 
Here's where we will be able to add pre-made professional templates to base our website on. If you're looking for professional yet free, I recommend going with Astro. Just click on install, wait a bit and then activate it to get it working. You should also see this pop-up, click on get started. For this part, you'll want to use Elementor as it's quite a good free website builder option that we can use to customize every aspect of our website. Then select one of the designs that you want to edit. Keep in mind, some of these are paid, so choose the ones that don't have the premium tag next to them. I'll go with this one and then just continue through the setup steps uh, if you want to change anything here, but it's really not a big deal. Everything else happens completely automatically. Once it's all done, the website already looks exactly like the theme that I've selected because all of the demo content gets added to it completely automatically. And the best part that every part of it is customizable by clicking edit with Elementor. This is probably where you're gonna spend the majority of your time editing the page because you can change the text, you can also remove elements completely or just change the position by dragging and dropping around. More advanced options for editing can be found by clicking on an object and using the left side menu, where you'll be able to change the style, padding, margins, and much more. Once you're done, just click on update and remember that not everything is changed through Elementor. For example, some elements can be changed by clicking on the customize button right here, like the menu. Navigate to the menu section and you'll be able to change the names of all of these buttons and where they link to. These Astra free templates are free forever. They look good and they work fast, but they're very simplistic most of the time and by no means perfect. I'll now show you how to make them even better by optimizing them for speed and making sure that any future design changes you make get automatically optimized. But first, I want to show you another method of getting really good website templates that's quite cheap. Envato Elements. For $14.50 a month, you'll get access to WordPress templates, graphic elements, stock pictures, fonts and various WordPress plugins that you can use to create an unlimited number of pretty awesome sites. For example here, if I click on WordPress then filter by Elementor and theme, there are over 500 premium themes to download. You can even check how the website looks before downloading and all of the themes come with instructions once downloaded. For 1450, it's unlimited downloads and I even use Envato Elements for my videos like sound effects, animations, various drawings or 3D models when creating thumbnails. Anyways, it doesn't matter what type of theme you use, you still need to optimize it for speed and the process is exactly the same for both free and paid templates. So I've quickly imported the theme I've got from Envato Elements here. And the good thing about Hostinger is that it comes pre-installed with Lightspeed Cache. That's the plugin we're gonna use for all of our optimizations. Hover over it, then click on General and request a domain key. This generally takes around 10 to 15 seconds. So just refresh your page after that and it should be loaded in. Then go to Presets and choose the Advanced option. I highly recommend you check how your website looks after this. If you notice that some elements or fonts don't look the way they should, switch from Advanced back to Basic. Yes, this does lower the amount of optimizations we have on our website, but this is the price we have to pay for doing it automatically instead of manually. Once you have this figured out, go into image optimization and click on send optimization request. At first, it will optimize only one image, but every five minutes, it will resend the request automatically and do more and more images. You don't need to do anything except refresh the page once in a while to see if it's done with all of the images already. While we're waiting, let's use our time smart and set up a CDN or a content delivery network, making sure that our website is placed on servers all across the world 
making it fast no matter the location where users are accessing it from. To do this, we'll need to go to cloudflare.com and sign up for a free account. Choose the first option and type in your website name right here. Now go with the free option and it will do a quick scan of your DNS. Just click on continue once it's done. You'll now see two lines of text. These are called name servers. So we'll need to add these to our domain name, making sure that all visitors get redirected through Cloudflare servers before reaching our site. To do this, navigate to Hostinger, then Domains, choose your website name, and next to Name Servers, click on Change. Now copy and paste the two values from Cloudflare into these two boxes here. Now, this will take around 30 minutes to take effect. I highly recommend not working on your site during this period. So since I've got like 30 minutes to kill, I'ma go play a quick round of Rotato until it's done and I'll cut right back. Okay, it has been 20 minutes, I lost my run, but uh, let's check if it's done. I'll just refresh Cloudflare and yep, it seems to be done because I see this message. Now I'll refresh Lightspeed Cache and this is done as well because I can see this check mark right here. Let me run a quick GT metric speed test to see how fast we've made our $2 site and wow. This is the cheapest plan and it loads this heavy website in one second. That's the power you get when you put in a little bit of effort into optimizing your website and you lay a good foundation for future designs. Now that you have your website, it's time to secure it. Follow this video right here to find out all about the free and clever ways I secure my websites. And as always, good luck creating yours.